गुड इवनिंग ऑल गुड इवनिंग सर क्वेश्चन पेपर राइट सो लेट फिनिश दोस क्वेश्चंस सो हाउ आर यू ऑल गुड सर ओके सो टिल व्हाट क्वेश्चन यू हैव डिस्कस इन लास्ट क्लास क्वेश्चन नंबर 10 क्वेश्चन नंबर 10 ओके आई थिंक यस and we are discussing 11th question right 11th question is a very wonderful question actually so 11th question let uh, if a comma b belongs to 1 2 3 4 i think one second i have to download that pen one second Hey Yes. So the question is a comma b belongs to one, two, three, four. Then if then the number of equations of the form a x square plus b x plus one is equal to zero having real roots. How many real roots we could see here by looking at the given quadratic equation? So the given question, if you look at the question, the a comma b belongs to a one, two, three, four given to you, right? So See, uh, first of all, you have to use you know determinant. I mean, di discriminant concept here. What is the discriminant concept here? Tell me. Discriminant concept was d square is equal to b square minus four ac, right? So we have to look after the values of a, b, c, right? So discriminant should be positive for making a roots for saying see here the roots has been given as real, right? Having real roots, then discriminant what must be greater than zero. Or equal to zero, greater than equal to zero. Getting my point? Yes. So just a minute. Discriminant must be greater than or equal to zero. So what should be the discriminant here? What will be the discriminant? Tell me. See, a comma b values has been given to you that one, two, three, four. Correct. So if I take a value as one, if I take a a value as one, then what is the discriminant is going to be? So first of all, you modify here b square minus four ac greater than zero. So b square would be greater than or equal to 4 ac, correct? So this can be written as like this, of course, isn't it? B square could be greater than or equal to 4 ac. So b square 4 ac is nothing but now I took a value as one here. I took a value as one. Then b square is going to be what? B square greater than or equal to what? 4, correct? Isn't it? 4 c. So this is what it is going to be. One second. See, how did I get an idea that I have to use discriminant concept only? Why? Because, see, by using nature of the roots concept, by using nature of the roots concept, I'll be getting that idea. Substituting a value, b value, c value. In fact, here a value is what? A only. Okay. And b value is b, c value is one here. So substituted here, I got b square, b values in each and every case. Okay. A one two three four I took all the possible values I took and I checked. Okay. So this is what I got. So b values what what? Seven. There are seven b values. There are seven possible B values, so this is our answer. Let me the, let me clear the screen. Let's go for the next question. How many have we got the twelfth question? 
How many have you got twelfth question correctly? I got it. Very simple. Look at this here. I think for. Oh my God. Okay. So very simple question, guys. You have to simplify. You have to simplify. You will be getting that. How can we simplify this? How can you simplify this? Hello, guys. Are you here? Yes, sir. See what should be the trick here. Tell me what is the trick. So first, we need to find the roots mm -hmm. of x square minus two. Yes, roots of the powers. Okay, very good. Mm hmm. Tell me, what is that? No one has solved that. See, it's a quite simple. It's not a big deal at all. As you told, what is your name? Sir, like two plus root three is reciprocal of two minus. RHS. Mm -hmm. RHS. RHS. We have to do like that, like, like by by the set, sir. Okay. But two by two minus root three into one. Sorry, two plus root three by two plus. Sir, three. let's assume like, that. Two plus root three. Uh, so let's assume yes. two minus by using three minus root three. Uh, your voice, your voice yeah. is breaking a lot. See, but look at this. Here. Two plus root three. Yeah. Two plus root three is equal to some. You take t, and uh, then if I, rationalization of this thing is what? Rationalization of this thing is what? The squaring both. Right, like we can't do right rationalization because no, we can do right. Yeah. Sir, rationalization of one upon t is equal to two minus two three, sir. Yes. So you can yes. do in the yeah. Here it's a quite interesting question and very simple. You see, actually, calculate here the cal is all about how you understand the question, how you make the question as very easy. Anything you take a bubble. Look at this. Just now we took what two plus root three is equal to some k. Okay. Then what is uh, one by k? One by two plus root three. Rationalization. How do you rationalize this? This is how I rationalize. So how do you get this two minus root three divided by uh, a minus b into a plus b? Four minus three. So two minus root three. So understood my point here. So this is k. One by k is what? This is this is k. This is one by k. Understood my point? Okay. This is k one by k. Now just substitute. That's it. Okay. So here, look at this here. What can you write this as? This is can be written as k x square minus two x plus one. X square minus two x plus can be written as what? A minus b whole square, correct? Am I correct? So k to the power of x minus one whole square. And two minus three can be written as what? One by k. One by k to the power of two. That can be written as what? Ha. Huh. See guys, this is a brilliant question actually. Sir, are we speaking? Yes, I'm speaking, guys. Can't you hear me? We can hear. Yes. Look at this here. So this power, let me zoom. This power can be written as what? Beta x minus one whole square, and this power is the right. This power can be written as what? Minus two plus one, right? Correct. So now x square minus two x plus one, or else straight away you can write here minus. Plus one minus two. Okay, so here x minus one whole square minus this power can be written. Now just substitute everything. That's it. So k to the power of x minus one whole square plus
uh, is equal to plus only plus only not is equal to plus 2 minus root 3 can be written as 1 by k 1 by k to the power of x minus 1 whole square minus 2 getting my point Yes. So x minus 1 whole square minus 2, right? Huh. It's quite simple. Now, here is equal to what? Is equal to 2 by k. Sure. 2 by 2 by 1 by k. So it is 2k. Clear? It is sure, I have it out. Yes. Sir, sure, like uh, the power of 2 plus root 3 and power of uh, 2 minus root 3 same right but why we got here x minus 1 whole square and there x minus 1 whole square minus 2 where uh, both powers are not same here you have plus here you have minus check oh yes yes understood my point so that is how i just got that yes sir now how can we do this after this Yes, one second, I think. Yeah. X k to the power of x minus 1 whole square plus x minus 1 whole square divided by four. What is the question given to you? Huh. Is equal to 2k, right? is equal to 2k so where is that you look at this yeah or else or else we can write in one more way or else we can write one more way if you don't find any like you know step for writing for the rest. so you can write one more step what is that step could be look at this where is that let me write on the right hand side Okay. Yes. So till this, you understood step till this. Understood, guys. Any doubt till that? No, sir. Yeah. Or else this can be written as, as you told, what is your name, Harini? As you told that, as you asked, this itself we can modify. This itself. Yes, sir. Can you take minus common here from this? Taking minus common, I mean, uh, from the given thing, x square minus 2x minus 1 given. From taking minus common from that, x square minus 2x, x square minus 2x plus 1 can be written as, okay, that's how we wrote, right? Yeah, from this, where is that? Yeah, from this step. From this step, x minus taking minus common. So what you left with? Plus one. Any doubt? Yes. Now this can be written as what? This can be written as what? This is yes, actually yes, yes. this is this. Yeah, this can be written as x minus one whole square. Correct. Isn't it? Understood my point. Right? Instead of writing that this, simply here itself we can take minus common and write this. Here from this step I can take minus common. I wrote that. So it became minus of x minus 1 to the power of whole square. Okay. So here this became what now? Uh, guys, right hand, I'm grading some space. It's a very lengthy calculation. I think it's, be, it's going and going. It's going for multiple steps, actually. So, the I think people is joining. Who is this guy is joining now? Yeah. So, k to the power of x minus 1 whole square. I got one thing. And plus, what is this can be written as? This one. 
why why did we write this you understood guys why did we write like this i just took minus common so that if i take minus common i can make it as a perfect square guys okay yeah so that is how i just wrote sir but it sir yes sir but wouldn't it make minus x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus common i didn't understood no, like didn't if you take minus common wouldn't it become minus x squared plus One second, yes. I think I wrote old reverse. I wrote, I wrote wrong. X square minus two x plus one, right? X square minus one. Ah, that is minus minus one here. Okay, this is minus one, beta. This is minus one. That I am writing as that I am writing as. Look at this. This is how we have right. This now. X square minus two x plus one minus two. Okay. Now you understood. Now what I do here is. Now I, what I do here is. Let us go here. Minus if I take common, so x square, x square. So minus x square plus two x minus one, so plus one here. But minus x square we are getting. Hmm. Now yes, we are missing a logic here. That logic, what is that logic? Is I'll tell you now. This can be written as what? Beta k inverse. Do you agree with my point? This can be written as k inverse or not? Hello guys, can I write or not? If, now I'll be aiyega. They go logic, wonderful logic. Look at this here. X uh, y to the power of x minus or what we took this k right? K to the power of x minus one whole square. Okay. Plus, and this whole term can be written as what, beta? K inverse, K inverse to the power of x square. Here x square minus x square minus two x plus one minus two, right? So let us do let's do one thing. Let's do one thing. So let it be as it is. Let it be as it is. Now you will be understanding. Look at this. I'm just. I'm not talking about RHS, but I'm talking about only LHS. So this is a very wonderful question. Very interesting question. Look at this. Now k to the power of multiply with minus instead of beta. Whenever you have two powers like this, what is the answer? X to the power of m n, right? If you have two powers, I'll be multiplying both the powers. Guys, I don't have much space, so I'll not be writing each and every step. I'm explaining here. So this into this, what it becomes? Minus x square plus two x. Plus one. Am I correct? Understood my point. So k to the power of x minus one whole square plus. Now you take minus common. Now you understood what is your name? What is your name? Uh, Saranya ji. Saranya sir. What is your name? Saranya only, right? Saranya. Yeah. So I took minus common to x square minus two x. So what you left with here minus one. Minus one, huh? Yes. Yeah, that is what I just looked at. Minus one. So now, how can you write this as minus one? We we don't want minus one actually. If you have minus one, what happens? We will not be getting a perfect square. We will not be getting any perfect square. So what shall we do? We'll do one thing. Actually, let's not let's not uh, disturb this. Let's not disturb this. Where is that? X square minus two x plus one. Let this minus one. Let this be as it is. Let this be as it is. Okay. Let this be as it is. The numerator part. The numerator part was x square minus two x minus one. Let this be as it is. Okay. Where is that? Yes. This one. This one. Now let's try that. So k to the power of what is this? Minus x square plus two x plus one. Now you take minus common. X square minus two x minus one. So, फिर से यही आ रहा है तो क्या करेंगे? अगर ये minus right, ये minus है यार. Minus. No, correct only. Anyway, we are getting the same thing. Or else you take minus common here and multiply. Let's try that. Take minus one here, minus common inside x square plus two x. 
एयर माइनस प्लस वन राइट अगेन एट द पावर ऑफ माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन ओके एनी वे वी आर गेटिंग द सेम थिंग गाइस सी आई नीड बेसिकली आई नीड ओल्स यू नो आई नीड कंप्लीट इन स्क्वायर यर आई नीड अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर हाउ कैन यू मेक दिस एस प्लस वन इफ आई मेक दैट प्लस एस if i make that as plus 1 my job done pretty simple how can i make that as plus 1 or else shall, you know did we made any mistake here x square minus 2x minus 1 see those who have solved the same way you have gone through so i did it as i took 0 1 and 2 as x keep ping the x and did that. i did it in a very long way mm -hmm. Okay, or else see here x square minus minus two x plus plus one minus two. If you write this, okay, if you write like this, minus if I take common, if I take minus common here. Now if I multiply with minus also, this minus one into The power I'm multiplying minus one into x square minus two x. Okay, x square minus two x minus one minus one. So same thing here. We are getting. So what is the mistake we made here? What is the mistake we made, guys? I don't think so. We made a mistake, but that should be a perfect square. Then only we can move forward. Otherwise, we don't have any step to write. Am I correct? See, I'm asking that how can we make this as a perfect square? That is pretty simple, actually. If we make that x square minus two x minus one given x square minus two x plus one minus two. Okay, this is how I can write. But you know, if I just wrote here, that's k inverse. What is k inverse? K inverse is equal to two minus root three, correct? Yes. So I wrote till that it is fine. Now k inverse to the power of x square minus two x plus one minus two. Okay. Now, ah uh, yeah, I multiplied the minus inside. I got this plus two x or minus one is that the minus one plus correct only. But if I take again minus common, but I am getting this, which is not a perfect square at all. Okay. Okay, so which is not a perfect square at all. So we can do one thing here. We can do one thing. I think is there any mistake in the question? If I take this as straight away plus one, shall we uh, check with that? You know, uh, if I take the strictly here plus one. One second. Yes, guys. I think you know uh, there there is a something wrong with this question. So let me check this and come back. Okay. So I don't want to waste uh, much time by you know uh, hanging between this question. So let me uh, give a pass this question and go for the next question. Option D given. Both A and C given. Right. Zero and one should we get? We should get. Okay. We will be discussing in the next class that one. Ha. Huh. Guys, how many of you know the modulus function? I mean modulus x. What do you mean by modulus six? Sir, modulus six means absolute value of x. Yes. How many of you know? What about others? Very good, Bargav. I'm asking everyone here. You must respond. Are you guys here? Sir. Yes. Someone is responding. Yes. Who's that? Guys, are you here? Yes. Yes. What is modulus? Already, if I'm not wrong, already I taught in like you know in one of the question paper we have discussed modulus function. Modulus. What? What is modulus? Okay. Siddhartha. Siddhartha, are you? Siddhartha, yes, yes Siddhartha. Tell me, Siddhartha, do you have any idea regarding the modulus? Do you have any 
आइडिया ऑफ द मॉडुलस x वॉट इज माई मॉडुलस फंक्शन वेरी सिंपल बेटा देखो लेट मी डेल्यू फर्स्ट सपोज आई हैव टॉट ऑलरेडी लेट मी डेल्यू माइनस ऑफ लुक एट दिस मॉडुलस ऑफ माइनस टू वुड बी ऑलवेज प्लस टू ओके मॉडुलस ऑफ प्लस टू इज ऑल्सो प्लस टू ओनली बेसिकली एज यू नो भार्गव साइड taking absolute value will be taking absolute value of any number which is in modulus right yes so now if you have a look at this question the number of real solutions of this equation real solution we need real solution now here x square minus so 2x 2 times of modulus x whole square minus 5x plus 2 so how can you write this as tell me the kind of factorization can i write like this Two times of modulus x whole square minus four times of modulus x minus one time of modulus x plus two is equal to zero. Can I write like this? Isn't it better? Look at this. If I add these two, I'm getting minus five times of modulus x. If I multiply these two, if I multiply these two, look at this here. What I'm getting plus four times of modulus x whole square. Isn't it? Siddhartha ji, are you able to understand? Siddhartha, are you? Yes, sir. Yes, Siddhartha. Tell me now, how can we go about this? What are the factors of this? How can I take? How can I go about this? Can you can you uh, suggest me what can I write for the next step? So we should take two x as a factor. That's first. great. That's great. So two times of modulus x as a common. So it makes me as modulus of x minus. Tell me. Hmm. Come on, tell me. Minus two, isn't it? First so, from the first two terms. Ah, huh. now next, what could be my next step? Siddhartha, are you here? So minus one. That's great, beta. Minus one if I take common. So look at this. Minus one, which is equal to zero. Again, what should I take common? Modulus of minus x. Two is the common, which I'll be remain with this one. Correct? Yes. So now modulus x is equal to what, beta? Two. And modulus of x is equal to what here? Is equal to one. Two times of modulus x is equal to one. So modulus of x is equal to one by two. Correct. So I just got two values of modulus, which is plus two and one by two. Correct. Now here, he is asking the number of real solutions of the equation. Real solution. Now tell me how many solutions I am going to have here. How many real solutions we are going to have? Tell me, guys. See, modulus x is I got two. Modulus x I got one by two. What is the option? He has given four here. How four? Tell me how four. Now I'm gonna. Just know I told. You see, modulus of minus two is equal to two. Modulus of two is also two only. Now think, how come it is going to be four? Why not it be two? Sir, you got two, one, and two solutions we got. Then why can't you choose option C here? Why option B? I request everyone to think, guys. Look at this. I just gave this hint here. Here something happening. What is that magic happening here? Siddhartha, can you catch the point? So two and minus two and mi minus half and half. Hmm. Okay, someone is yes, 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 Aniya. Tell me, please. Sir, is it that minus can you, two can and you come back? two and uh, half and minus no, no. half? Can you come back again? Two. So your voice was glitching in between. Can you come back? Yes. Sir, two. Mm -hmm. And then uh, minus two. Mm hmm. Good. Ah, uh, minus one by two. That's great. So that is how, like you know, one by two. That is how we will be getting that. Yes. See, beta. Here, modulus of x can be written as so modulus of x two can be written as x is equal to plus or minus two. Correct. Modulus of x can be written as modulus of x is equal to one by two. Right. The here x can be written as plus or minus one by two. So here you have two values of x. Here also you have two values of x. So here two values and here two values. Total four values we have. So that is the reason I chose option B here. Option B. 
Understood my point. He is asking the number of real solutions. Yes, plus two is also real solution. Minus two is also real solution. Plus one by two is also real solution. Minus one by two is also a real solution. So that is the reason I got four. All right. Option B is correct. Let me go for the next question. Shall I clear this? Yes. See, guys. I see that I uh, like you know sometimes like you know when I ask you the question, you must respond. If I don't, if you, if I don't get a response. so sometimes like you know some students are copying in exam actually i i i could see that i could see that if i'm asking the explanation they are not you know they are giving half of the you know uh, explanations i could see that you know please do not copy in the exam it is it's a kind of test you have to test yourself be genuine even you get zero marks even you get two marks even you get five marks single digit we don't care at all okay if you are copying in exam what happens you will not be understanding anything but us see if you get habituated for copying you will be losing a lot so many things you will be losing okay so do not copy when i ask you something yes if you do not know we'll discuss absolutely in the class from the scratch okay yes this is the first time i think you know i think this is the second time you are solving a questions related to modulus you never got before i think you will be learning again uh, in class 11th in a chapter called functions okay in class 11th you will be learning functions lesson modulus as what is modulus as function you will be learning separately in class 11th but for your standard this is the second time you are solving this type of question i request everyone please do not copy in exam okay so i'll be asking individually i'll see that i i know that who all are made a 13th question who all are uh, uh, who didn't make 13th question if i ask 14th question somebody they have to respond in a proper way if you have copied beta no fine like you know if you have copied please accept that no problem if you Guessed it, accept that. Sir, I solved it. I solved it and got the answer. Accept that also. Okay. I got. See, I just guessed. I got ninety percent of the answer. I guessed it. I thought in a right way. I approached in a right way. If you have, if you are having such type of things, please, you know, let me know better. Okay. Please do not go with the blind, you know, approaches. So that really makes you so much of confusion. Okay. So tell me, fourteen the question. How many have you got? How many have you got? Fourteen the question. I think. Uh, so I didn't are... get it because I never learned any graphs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who is that? Hania. Yes, Hania. Ah. Huh. I didn't get it, sir, uh, because I never studied graphs in our school. And over here also last term when I joined, uh, there were no graphs, you know. Hmm. Yes, we have discussed this type. I think I'm not happy. Yes, it's so happy. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Yes. Uh, how many of you did this question? Quick. So did this question like got the correct answer or just try? You did this question, but I don't see who is responding. If we got if we got uh, wrong answer, also are we supposed to raise a hand? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. See, you tell me your approach better. You tell me your approach better. The choose the question which I choose better. They are somewhat like you know more than uh, uh, more than average. I would say. More than average questions. Tell me, tell me. Yes. Sir, it's just that it's a parabola, so and uh, and it's just touching at one point, the same point, so they are equal roots. I gave the. Okay. It touches na. At the same point, so both the zeros are equal. Okay. What about others? But we discussed already. We already discussed. I I just gave you like look at this. I'll I'll give you different conditions here. See, beta. Again, you'll be learning in class eleven. Okay. See, first suppose I have a graph something like this. Okay. First suppose I have a second graph. I have a graph something like this. Okay. So first suppose I have a graph something like this. No, not touching. Okay. I told you with the different cases. Am I correct? See, beta. When graph touches x-axis at two distinct points, okay, that case we learned discriminant would be greater than zero. 
when graph touches exactly at one point discriminant would be equal to zero correct so with graph neither touches nor intersects look at this here it is it is away from the x axis but it is in the a you say then discriminant would be less than zero i give three different cases getting my point ha huh. this is one case beta and you will be learning uh, this second case i'm the second point which i'm teaching here is you will be learning in class 11th okay but let me teach you now itself okay so note take note when everyone take this this really helps okay let this really helps beta take a note when a greater than 0 and d less than 0 what is d represents here discriminant okay so discriminant less than 0 then quadratic equation i mean quadratic expression quadratic expression is always positive see aditi is joining in between what happened one second one second let me add it yes so it's always it's always positive for all for all for all values of x for all values of x okay for example you say that for example you say any example x square plus 2x plus 1 okay a is positive here greater than 0 and discriminant is what discriminant less than 0 or what let's say like let me take a simple example yes take this x square plus x plus 1 discriminant what is the discriminant beta here b square minus 4ac correct what is b here 1 Minus four times of a. A is what one. C is what one. Correct. So one minus four, which is less than zero. Look at minus three. Minus three is what less than zero. Now when a is greater than zero, b is less than zero. Expression quadratic expression would be all right. Quadratic expression is always positive for all values of x. So that is the condition. Again, with the proof, everything you'll be learning in class eleventh, but. You just have just keep this in your mind. I already taught, but no, uh, like in long back when we were learning quadratic equation, I just taught you this. So now have this with you. Now one more point. This is the first point. One more point here. Okay. I think I don't have space. Let me clear the screen, guys. Let me clear the screen. Please copy this. Please copy this. Or is I'll be I'll be just you know clearing this. Make it fast. Hope you all copied this. Let me clear. Yes. Next point here, when a is less than zero and d is less than zero, okay, d is less than zero. Quadratic expression, a quadratic expression is always negative. Is always negative when if a is less than zero, discriminant is also less than zero. for all for all values of x for example you say um, you frame any quadratic equation which gives me uh, a value as negative and discriminant is less than zero frame any quadratic equation yes siddhartha reddy can you please you know frame a equation by uh, having this statement please siddhartha reddy are you here Sir, I am not sure. No, brother. See, you know what is quadratic uh, uh, expression standard form, right? A x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. This is a quadratic. Okay, I am talking about quadratic expression, right? So let me remove this equal to zero. Uh, tell me, this is the quadratic polynomial we have. Am I correct? So now I am asking you to frame a quadratic expression, a quadratic polynomial, where. these conditions are getting satisfied a less than 0 discriminant should be less than 0 give me an example yes very simple a should be less than 0 beta one thing is what a less than 0 so let me make minus x square okay ha huh. discriminant should be less than 0 which means b square minus 4ac must be less than 0 come on tell me now what should be my b and c values could be anything 2x minus 3 you take correct So now check a value is what here minus one, which is less than zero. Okay, I satisfied with this condition. Now <coughs> discriminant is less than zero, beta. Discriminant is what here b square minus four ac, which is less than zero. Correct. 
great so check b square is what here 2 square minus 4 into a into c okay 4 minus uh here how much minus it minus plus again minus so which is 12 so minus 8 which is less than 0 check carlo look at this here this is less than 0 this is also less than 0 so when both are less than 0 a and the discriminant both are less than 0 means quadratic expression is always going to be negative for all values of x okay for all values of x how i just got a graph i just had to remind all this now look at this have a look at the question now have a look at the question hope you all got the concept what i'm trying to say here guys have you got these two nodes i gave node number one and node number two under node number two i gave again two sub nodes okay room number one and room number two yes have this let me clear make it fast Uh, look at the graph now what does the following graph represent what does the following graph represent one second yes what does the following graph represent i don't see the participants list here yes are you here people come on tell me hello guys yes yes, yes tell me very very Sorry. good question interesting question understood I'm not didn't understand. Someone is saying something. No, I give notes, but you just have that. Again, you'll be learning in class one. That is very important for J means. Yes. Tell me. Hello, boys and girls. I'm asking you what does the following graph represent? It just one root. Equal 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 roots. Equal roots and constant term is non-zero. Yes, why it is it's not touching. Yes, look at this here. Go with option one by one. What is option yes, yes here? Now everyone, I need a part, you know, I need everyone's active presence here. Okay. What is uh, no, option A here? Quadratic polynomial has just one root. Quadratic polynomial has equal one root. What is the option? Kya bata Deko, option B is what? X, quadratic polynomial has equal one root. Ye kya hai? Statement is not possible. Quadratic polynomial has no root. Kahan se hoga ye? It's not possible. Quadratic polynomial has equal roots and constant term which is non-zero. Huh? How many of you choose this option? How many of you choose this option, guys? I did sir. Actually. Good, 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 good. Beta. I need a response. I need a response. Come on. Kavya, very good. What about others? Siddhartha, ready. Are you able to understand, beta? Siddhartha, ready. Siddharth. Are you here? Okay. Udbhav, what about you, Udbhav? Ujwal, Udbhav, Ritvik, Nithya, Guys, are you here or not? Please tell me. See, guys, I, I give this type of questions only in exam. I take so much of time to discuss this question. Yes, even we solve three to four questions in a class, but we go in depth. We go in depth and learn everything before that. You know, now, the notes whichever I have given you by using those notes better you can make so many questions in the next exam what I do is probably if you have same topic in the next exam I'll be giving you this type of questions only based on you know related to graph something like that okay I'll try to give then you can answer by using the uh, notes which I have given yes tell me any doubts in the question for number 14 it has equal roots and a constant term which is non-zero okay which is non-zero that is you know that is giving me the appropriate options of I'll go with option D next Guys, uh, the equation square root of x plus 10 minus 6 by square root of x plus 10 is equal to 5 has what? Has what? You know, extraneous root between minus 10 and 6. Two extraneous roots are real root between 20 and 25. Now, look, look at this here. Everyone, the doubt is what? Extraneous root is nothing but what? What do you mean by extraneous roots? What do you mean by extraneous roots in mathematics? What do you mean by extraneous root in mathematics? Hmm? Sir, it is like we square uh, an equation to find uh, an answer. Okay. Yes, any other? Yes, 
Oh, who said that answer squaring on both sides? Okay, good. Beta, look at this here. Let me tell you. As you, what is your name? Haniya or Aksha? Who's who tell the answer? Saranya. Who's that? Uh, me. Me. What is your name, beta? Me. Bhumika. Bhumika. Very good. Very Sorry, good. sir. See, if you say me, I can have to go back and see how I have to check. Let me tell you one thing. See, beta, whenever you are responding something. Right. Ah. Uh, Yes. Look at this here. I have to go back here and I have to check your mic. Who is responding? Who is not responding? It takes so much of time. So kindly tell your name. If you say me, then who whom should I consider? Okay, beta. Extra nice root is nothing but very good. Squaring both sides. So look at this here. For suppose, if you have an expression, beta. Okay. If I do squaring on both sides, where I could get two roots. Okay. So both sides, if I square, of a square root equation, which results, which gives me Two solutions are positive and negative. Understood my point? Positive and negative. So therefore, one of those roots will be an extra near solution. Understood my point? If I have something like this, beta. So what is the value of x here? Tell me. What is the value of x? Hello. What is the value of x? Minus one and two. One. Minus one and. Root one, uh, minus one or plus one. Plus one. So then one of the root, the one of the answer, either plus one or minus one would be an extraneous root. That is nothing. See, extraneous root is nothing but don't think that yes, extraneous root. हम तो कभी भी नहीं पढ़े थे. Like you know, it is looking something new. Don't think like that. Extraneous root is nothing but when you squaring on both sides, where it results two roots, where it has plus and minus, then one of those roots should be called as an extraneous root. समझ रहे हो आप? Okay. Here, how can we determine this question how can we find out this question now tell me how can you find out this question how many have did this question guys in this class we got to learn very very uh, good points and very new points okay uh, tell me come on how can we go with this question what type of root this uh, equation has i am going very so by squaring so that everyone can respond here hmm. by squaring so by squaring both sides can we know sir? yes 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 That is an idea. One idea. Very good. What about others? Great. Tell me. Arey. See, whatever it comes to your mind, beta. You tell me. No problem. What? See, no matter what, either it's right or wrong. Just don't think that. You just blabber it. Whatever you have, just think and say. Very simple. Come on. See, beta. I have something like this. I'll tell you one logic. Okay, this is what he has. Okay, beta. What I do here is now just cross multiply. देखो इसको इसको multiply करो तो what you left with x plus ten. Beta root x into root x gives me x only, right? Yes. So now square root of square root of x plus ten into square root of x plus ten gives me x plus ten. Do you agree with my point? Isn't it? Ha. Huh. Minus six is equal to five times of square root of x plus ten. Okay, this is what I just get this. So here x plus four is equal to five times of this one. So now what I have to do here? What I have to do? Huh. See guys, I have, I'll tell you one logic here. Instead of doing this, we can go with we can go with one more logic. I got a wonderful logic here. Tell me, can I multiply with something on both sides? What should I multiply on both sides to get rid of this root? Tell me, on the left hand side to remove that particular root, what should I multiply with on both sides? So what do you mean by extraneous root, sir? That is what I told just now. <laughs> Kavya, he was not listening. Sir, I got disconnected in between, sir. That's why. No, no, no. Extraneous roots are better. Like when you squaring on both sides, when expression gets squaring on both sides, you will be getting two roots, right? Like, for example, let's say x square is equal to plus or minus one. Okay. Plus or minus x square is equal to one is nothing, but you will be getting what is the value of x? Correct. Plus or minus one. One of those positive and negative roots will be called as an extraneous roots. Extraneous roots is nothing but when you square on both sides, the result which you get as plus root and minus root, one of them would be called as an extraneous roots. That is extraneous root is nothing but. Which which me? Which thing? Big deal. Okay. Very simple. So now tell me here, what should I multiply with on both sides, beta? Tell me. Shall I multiply with root x on both sides? 
कि मल्टीप्लाइंग मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ ऑन बोथ साइड सो वॉट यू लेफ्ट विथ एक्स प्लस टेन करेक्ट इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई विथ एक्स रूट एक्स प्लस टेन ऑन बोथ साइड वॉट वुड आई लेफ्ट विथ एक्स प्लस टेन माइनस सिक्स इज इक्वल फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ दिस करेक्ट अंडरस्टूड माई पॉइंट सो एक्स प्लस फोर so same thing same thing whatever we did in that layer that is what i just got here pi times of okay or else sir i don't get this idea what i do is i'll just cross multiply and do that nothing wrong with that also okay people ha so pi times of i got this now what you do is beta here yes dekho kya karenge dekho squaring on both sides to remove this roots what i have to do to get rid of that root i'll be doing squaring on both sides so a square plus b square minus Plus two ab, correct? Eight x is equal twenty five times of x plus ten, isn't it, people? So x square plus eight x plus sixteen is equal twenty five x plus two fifty. All right. So x square uh, minus how much? Beta minus seventeen x, right? Minus seventeen x minus two hundred and thirty four. Am I correct? See, many people are thinking why is r multiplied with uh, that on both sides? Beta, I have done what? Look, cross multiply. Do it. इसमें क्या है देखो जस्ट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई बोथ साइड्स क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई टेकिंग एलसीएम एंड क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई देखो सेम थिंग आई एम गेटिंग अगेन क्या है इसमें वेरी सिंपल लुक एट इट हियर सो x2 17x 234 हो गया नहीं फैक्टराइज दिस कम ऑन नाउ टेल मी हाउ कैन आई फैक्टराइज दिस क्वाड्रेटिक फार्मूला क्वाड्रेटिक फार्मूला बट वी आर यूजिंग क्वाड्रेटिक फार्मूला कांट यू स्प्लिट 17x कैन बी रिटन एज हाउ So twenty twenty five में क्या आता है twenty five table not possible twenty six twenty six twenty six minus nine twenty six nine तो minus how much बेटा seventeen right so twenty six nine how much nine six fifty four okay nine two eighteen eighteen yes I am getting बेटा देखो इस twenty six a x plus nine x minus two thirty four सही है ना getting my point can I write like this isn't it guys twenty six minus nine seventeen is Seventeen twenty six into nine again two thirty four, so x common x minus twenty six. Sir, I am not getting an idea. So go with quadratic formula. Sir, I am not getting an idea how to split the middle term. Then what you do, beta here? You go with quadratic formula. We have a wonderful split. Okay, taking nine common again x minus twenty six. Hope you are understanding what I am talking here. Yes, yes. One second, guys. One second, just a minute. Give me a minute.
So here, I hear children. <clears throat> yes, yes sir. sorry, I just held up with something. Sorry, I like you know couldn't avoid that. See, x. What are the values of x here? Tell me now. What are the values of x? Minus nine and twenty-six. Yes. So these are the two values I got. So what should be my option now? See, uh, minus nine would be what? Minus. If you just substitute minus nine, would it be satisfying? Would it be satisfying? So, guys, the extraneous root between minus ten and minus six. That would be the answer. Why it is so? Tell me. See, option A is not possible. option c is also not possible option d is not possible ha huh. see here i told any one of the root would be an extraneous roots so two roots can't be an extraneous here all right so i am saying that minus 9 would be failing better check minus 9 check kar lo minus 9 would you be satisfying with that check kar lo minus 9 is nothing but what you will be let to minus 10 minus 9 plus 10 1 6 by 1 is equal to 5 So one minus six is equal to five. So minus five कहाँ से बराबर होगा? Minus five is not equal to five. So it is not possible, बेटा. So option B is correct like that. So and guys, uh, uh, this is what the fifteenth question is all about. Those who have not understood, please go through this again, and I'll come back to you in the next class. We'll be discussing the remaining questions in the next class. So thank you.